Make a chain uh, in multiples of 10. The pattern repeats in every 10 stitches. For row 1, make a chain of 3. In the same stitch, that is in the first stitch, do 4 double crochets. So including the chain 3, I have 5 double crochets. Skip 4 stitches. In the 5th stitch, do a single crochet. Now skip 4 stitches. In the 5th stitch, do a shell of 9 double crochets. Skip 4 stitches, in the 5th stitch do a single crochet, again skip 4 stitches, in the 5th stitch do a shell of 9 and continue this pattern of making a shell and a single crochet. End this row with 5 double crochets in the last stitch. In the fifth stitch, I would like to change the color now. So I'll pull through the last two loops with the different color. Now for row two, I need to start the new shells. For that, I'll start with chain one. In the same stitch, I'll do a single crochet, chain three. This chain three will place me here in the middle now I'll do double crochets over this entire range of stitches so I'll go into the second stitch my first stitch was a single crochet in the second stitch I'll do a double crochet without pulling through so now I have two loops and I'll continue doing the double crochets without pulling through So I'll have 4 double crochets over this shell. Now I have I am at the place where I had a single crochet. So I'll do 1 uh, double crochet without pulling through here. And I'll do 4 more double crochets over this half of the shell. Now this time I got, so I got 4 over this shell, 1 over the single crochet and 4 over this shell and 1 I was already having a loop for the chain 3 that I did. So now I am going to pull through all these loops. and do a chain 1. Now again I will do a chain of 3. Now this will place me at this spot. So at this stitch which is the next stitch to this one, I will do a single crochet. Now again I have to reach at this position. So I will do chain 3 again. And I'll do another set of double crochets over this entire region.
so I've got four over this shell four over this shell and one single crochet in between I mean a double crochet over the single crochet and then I was having a chain three loop so I will have a total of 10 loops here 5 and 5 now pull through all these loops And then do a chain now chain 3 again this chain 3 is going to place me exactly over this stitch which is the next stitch of the last double crochet now again I will reach to this spot by doing a chain 3 and continue this pattern of making shells all over this area Row 3 will be similar to row 1. I have to start with the chain 1 and over this single crochet of the previous stitch, I'll have another single crochet. So I actually ended row 2 with a single crochet over here. So over that single crochet, I had another single crochet in row 3. And now I will have shells of 9. So I'll reach out to this center point and I'll do 9 double crochet like I did in row 1. So I made 9 double crochets. Now I will reach out to this single crochet and I'll do a single crochet over this single crochet. Now comes the next shell. So I have to complete this whole circle so I will make a shell of 9 here and I'll continue that pattern. So this whole uh, row I'll have to do shell of 9 and a single crochet, shell of 9 and a single crochet. I'm ending this row with a single crochet over this single crochet but I'm going to pull through the last two loops using blue color because the next row I need to use blue color I need to have a chain of three here and then I will do double crochets four double crochets over this shell without pulling through pull through two loops and hold so one two three and four we have five loops pull through chain one now I'll do chain three and reach to this part which is the next chain next stitch to the last double crochet and I'll do a single crochet again I'll do a chain of three that will make me here reach me here and now I'll do um, uh, double crochets all over this, this whole sh uh, set of stitches those are four double crochets over this shell one double crochet over the single crochet and then four double crochet over this shell now pull through all these ten loops And chain one then chain three and that's it go to this stitch and do a single crochet and continue you'll do another chain three and then a shell here an inverse shell and then single crochet chain three so after the inverse shell you'll do a chain three to reach here single crochet chain 3 inverse shell chain 3 single crochet and that's how you will do this this row row number 4 